Now, as computer systems became more and more powerful, it became obvious that even with the four different modes and four different choices within the DES algorithm, it wasn't going to be strong enough to keep up with faster and faster systems. Basically, a faster computer system can process many more computations in the same period of time, and it became possible after several years to break the DES algorithm with a fairly inexpensive machine. So the next step was to double the amount of work, and they came up with double DES, or two DES. Now, the double DES approach basically took the original DES algorithm, and at every block, it just did it twice. And so he would actually encrypt a plain text block, and then encrypt the ciphertext block to come up with the second generation of ciphertext. Then we would move to the second block. Now, all the different four modes were also available in double DES. We just did it twice at every step, or at every block. The problem was there were vulnerabilities that were found almost immediately that rendered it no stronger than the original DES. So we're doing double the work and getting no payback. So they move to the next generation, which is triple DES. And that's what's in use many places today. Now, the triple DES algorithm is a much more secure implementation of the original DES algorithm. It exists in three different versions. All three of the versions, or the different implementations, are equally secure. And each one just changes the way that each of the three iterations of the DES algorithm is applied what is applied to, and what type of key is used. Regardless, the encryption algorithm is the same in all three different versions. It's the same as the original DES algorithm. It's just applied three times.